greet the babies and all of those that are watching us with the peace of the Lord Jesus. When we pray, we're talking to God, we're speaking to God, and God hears our prayers. But before we pray, we have to do what? We have to plead by the blood of Jesus, because only the blood of Jesus has the power to clean our hearts, has the power to give us fellowship with God, and allows us to be close to God. So let's plead. We'll plead by the blood of Jesus. Lord, at this moment we plead by the power that's in the blood of Jesus. We ask you to clean our hearts. Give us fellowship with the Lord. This is our plead. In the name of Jesus, amen. And now, with lots of joy, let's sing a song. I know that on the cross your blood was shed. There died my Jesus. But on the third day he resurrected. To give me a heaven of love. I want a Jesus that saves me. I want a Jesus that saves me. I want a Jesus that saves me. With him I want to go to heaven. In heaven. In heaven. In heaven, I want to live with Jesus. In heaven, in heaven, in heaven, I want to live with Jesus. Now let's sing another song. I want to be faithful to you, Jesus. We're going to learn one more story that's written here in the Bible, the Word of God. And today, we're going to learn in the book of Nehemiah. We're going to read the text, and you're going to pay attention. In chapter 1, verse 3, the Word says, And they said to me, The survivors who are left from the captivity in the province are there in great distress and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is also broken down, and its gates are burned with fire. This month, we're going to learn about the time of restoration. But what is restoration? To restore is to fix, is to you to recover something that got broken. Look what I brought. I brought this house right here. This house that's broken. But I'm going to restore this house. I'm going to fix this house. And look. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to restore it. In this house. 
is gonna be perfect again, ready to be used. So I restored, I fixed, I recovered the house, and it's perfect again. And today, we're going to learn what it means to restore our spiritual life, restore our hearts, because our hearts are the house of the Lord. It needs to be perfect for Jesus to live in. And this is what the servant Nehemiah did. Nehemiah, he lived in the palace. The palace of the king Antioxerces. Nehemiah, he was the king's uh, cupbearer. He was the person that served the king, brought this, the king coffee, brought him lunch, dinner. And this is what Nehemiah did. But one day, Nehemiah received a visit from his people. And Nehemiah heard that the city of Jerusalem, the city of the people of God, the city that God chose for his people to live in, got destroyed. The walls, the doors, the gates, they were all destroyed. Nehemiah, knowing this, he was very sad. He was very, very sad. And he cried, and he fasted, and he prayed to the Lord, because he loved Jerusalem. But why did all of this happen to the city? Because the people that lived here, they were disobedient to God. They did not only they did not want to walk with God anymore. They did not want to obey the laws of God. They did not want to be on the path that takes you to heaven. They didn't want to hear the voice of the Lord. They were disobedient. And what does disobedience do to man? Do you know what it does? Disobedience. It takes the person away from God. People's hearts were like this. A perfect heart. But disobedience caused them to have an empty heart. Each time they disobeyed, you know what happened with their hearts? They started losing life. Each time they disobeyed, they started losing life, losing the blessings that God had given to them, losing salvation, eternal life with God. They lost everything, all the blessings that they had. And they were like this, with empty hearts. Very sad, right? It's very sad to not have Jesus in your heart. But do you know what God wants to teach us? He wants to teach us that we have to be obedient. That we have to restore our spiritual life, our hearts, every single day. So we can have a heart like this, full of life full of the blessings of the Lord. But how do we restore our hearts? When we obey the Lord, when we pray, when we read the word, when we sing, we go to church, we watch the classes, we're allowing our heart to be perfect for Jesus to live in. See what a blessing? So today we learned that we have to restore our hearts. We have to be obedient, to have a perfect heart for Jesus to live in. Amen? And for us that are parents and res those responsible, the Lord wants to teach us that we have to teach our, our children to obey since they are young, even if they're one month year old. But teach them to obey the Lord so they can grow in the presence of the Lord, walking with God doing what pleases the Lord, because this pleases the Lord, and it also pleases the Lord, for them to be obedient to the parents, be obedient to the, the brothers at church, at school, because doing this, they will grow testifying of the blessings of God in their lives. And now, let's sing the last song, How Amazing is the Love of God. How amazing, how amazing, how amazing is the love of God revealed on Calvary 
Jesus died for us. How amazing it is to announce this love to you that are here today. Come see it. Come receive it. And the joy will overflow your soul. How amazing. How amazing. How amazing is salvation. We will not die. Yes, we will be eternally with our God eternally with our God and now we're going to end we're going to glorify the Lord ending this class glorify the Lord for this wonderful teaching so we can reach eternity so we can have our hearts restored perfect for Jesus to live in Lord, at this moment, we glorify you, we bless you for your blessing, for your direction, Lord, for your teachings that are given to us each day, so we can walk, so we can serve you, so we can be in your presence and reach eternity. We glorify you for everything, for all the blessings, in the name of Jesus, amen. <music>